hey y'all welcome back to my channel my name is ebony if you are new here welcome i make videos all about locks and lifestyle stuff and today we are talking about locks okay because last week i posted a video of a bunch of different styles i do um with my locks especially when i need a retwist basically which is most of the time okay because i i can't be bothered to get a retwist every five seconds um and i told you guys about a new braid out method i have it is faster it is easier and it looks really freaking cute okay it gives kind of like a a bigger curl than the normal braid out that i do and i really like it okay so i just said you know what let me go and record this tutorial real quick and the basics of it is that instead of doing individual braids or like braids with each like with a few locks I do cornrows okay and the cornrows are so nice and easy if you do not know how to cornrow you should learn you're supposed to know how to cornrow girl but if you don't um maybe if you watch me you can learn um it's one of those things to me like i am not the best teacher however i think if you just do it enough you will learn it okay that's how i learned i learned watching my mom um but yeah just watch me and maybe you'll get the hang of it um but yeah let's get into this new style <laughs> Okay, first things first, I need to take my hair out. I went to this brunch event today and it was really cute. Um, basically, like for the month of June, there has been like so many like black in LA, black professional um, events. It started like Juneteenth weekend and then it just kind of like kept going and kept going. Then it's like, it's BET weekend. And then it's it, like, first it's Grammys and BET. Like it's just everything, everywhere, all at once basically. Um, and there's just so much stuff. But okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do is wet your hair. Oh, I forgot to finish that. So yeah, I went to a brunch. So I wore my hair in a low bun, you know, super quick and easy. And this is like a like, how old would I say? It's like a two to three day old break it out um so this is me just like refreshing it and doing it all over again so yeah you want damp hair the best thing is if you like you know freshly wash your hair but you don't have to girl okay i just be going through with my spray bottle and mind you the hair doesn't need to even be soaking wet like my locks hold curls even if it's lightly damp um Sometimes I'll be like in the shower and in that last like minute before I get out the shower, I just be boop, put my hair under, under the water real quick before I do a style. Okay, bam, nice and wet. You wanna scrunch your hair. Whenever you wet your hair, this is just like a rule of thumb, scrunch it in because you want it to penetrate your hair. This is just moisture purposes, you know? Um, okay. I'm like low porosity. It doesn't really matter as much ever since I got locks, but I still do that. I still make sure to make sure it, the moisture penetrates. And then you're gonna take some type of oil, make sure to just put it in there. I'm using the sacred oil. I actually still really love this stuff. I think it's great, um, but use any oil you have. Um, I have this stuff here. I will say I like sacred more than this quick stuff, but. We tested it out together and I, I do like it too also it smells a little bit better but I think I just like how lightweight the sacred oil is and there's so many good uh, oils mixed up in here so yeah it usually wins out also I love a cute design okay like the bottle is just cute so I like to use it <laughs> okay I'm somebody that will buy something for the aesthetic okay you got me um okay so now that we have it in there and this is what i love about this style because it's so simple and easy like it really does not have to be looking good or put together like but it is gonna come out cute okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm probably just gonna do maybe four that's what i think i think i'll just do four cornrows so we're gonna start like this and you're gonna do it just like how you would do regular cornrows like when you have loose hair 
So I'm going to take this section from here to here. Um, since I have a middle part, my hair is split in half. There's going to be two cornrows here, then two cornrows here. That's all. That's it. That's all. So let me just tie my hair up to get it out the way. Mm -mm -mm. And I would love to know, like, when did y'all learn the cornrow? And if you didn't learn, that's okay too, you know. But um, yeah, tell me your, your hair story. When did you learn to like, actually, let's not even say cornrow. When did you learn to like do your hair, okay? Because I distinctly remember, like my mom used to do my hair um, all as a kid. And then there came a time where I was like, I don't like the way you're doing it, girl. Like, I love you, but I got to do it myself. I got to put me first, Lucius. <laughs> And that's when I started learning to do it my myself, especially when I like decided to go natural, which was like close to high school. Okay, so you're gonna take these locks. It's kind of hard to see now because, child, you can't even see my roots. Okay, this is all hair. This is all loose hair at this point. Um, but yeah, you're just gonna take. I usually take three to begin with, and I'm actually going to like take two each. And this is only because the hair right here is kind of thin. It's like on the thinner side. So I have three sections, two locks in each. And then I start off like I'm just doing a braid. I'm going to get really close. Start off like I'm just doing a braid. But on that last time, I switch over and I grab one more lock. So you see how this now has three in there? Yeah, it has three. I'm going to reach back over. And then in that other hand, I'm also going to grab another lock. You see here, it has more locks. Same thing. I'm going to grab with that next piece and grab another lock. And then I'm just going to do the same thing all the way down. Just keep going. And next thing you know, you are cornrowing, girl. And with locks, it's super easy because they're already basically parted out for you. Can you see that? Yeah. And bam. And you have a section done. Mm -hmm. And I try to braid down as close as I can, but it's okay if you don't get that close because we're going to put a um, hair tie at the end of this. So whenever I can't braid anymore, I make it into a twist, as you can see. And then I go like this. And I kind of just wrap it around. Take a hair tie. If you have one of the smaller ones, use those. I'm basically just using whatever I have right now in front of me. But I'll grab some more in a minute. Bam, and you have it tied down. Look look at it. <laughs> I look like um, Helga from uh, Hey Arnold. But yes, okay, so now you have a cornrow right here. Bam, and then now you can keep going. So now we're gonna do the next section. And we're gonna do the same exact thing. Let's use this over here. Oh, I think I missed some of the top of this when I was spraying. Oh, not my ring got stuck. Hold on. Oh, okay, here we go. Let's take that off. Uh-uh. Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing. Make sure you guys can see that. I have three locks here. This one feels a little thin to me too. Just cause it, since it's loose hair, it doesn't feel as like big and thick. So I'm gonna put two here. Anytime you feel like you need a little bit more reinforcement, girl, just do that, okay? Cause it's really not that crazy of a difference. Just do, do what works best for you and your hair. And then bam. Just gonna grab some along the way. Keep going. 
and it's okay if you end up grabbing like more than one each time like one uh lock each time like honestly it doesn't have to be perfect since you're not it's not like you go into the mall in this it's not like you going to brunch in this style it doesn't have to be perfect just make sure it's coming down your head like a cornrow girl that's all like and my locks since they are diamond parts they're situated in a way that like I'm not going to always have like an even amount to grab. That is absolutely fine. Like as long as I can just have it attached to my scalp like a cornrow, it's we're we're good. We are absolutely good and it's going to look good. See, look at me. I'm even braiding the bottom of this crazy, but it's still going to look good. Oh, did I forget? Y'all, I forgot a lock. <laughs> I forgot a lock. Why didn't y'all tell me? Oh my gosh. That's okay. That is okay, because guess what? We about to fix that in just a second. I'm going to come back with the other side braided and then finish up with you guys. I'll be right back y'all i am back okay and i got this side like i said it do not need to be perfect look at this okay and look this one this one halfway up my head but it's fine it's fine it's gonna be look, looking good okay you see this okay now about this one that i accidentally left out you know me y'all i can never really be bothered like i'm not going to break this back again but what I will do is this. <clears throat> I'm about to just twist it like this. Like a mini small little retwist. And then I'm going to go like this. Just twist it up, twist it up, twist it up. Twist it up, twist it up, twist it up. Bam. Like this. Use a bobby pin. gotta get creative sometimes damn okay so now it's cornrowed i say you gotta keep this in until your hair dries so i'll be back once my hair is dry either tonight or tomorrow morning and then we can take it out together and see how it looks okay i'm just gonna put my little scarf on oh isn't it such a nice feeling when you put on your scarf? Like, I hate when I like knowing that I have to take off my makeup though. It's like, I love putting it on, but I just can't relax on myself until I take it off. And it's always just a task to take it off. So that's what I'm gonna do. So scarf is on, makeup is coming off. I will see you guys either tonight or in the morning. Let's do it. Good morning. It is the next day. We are ready to go. I am going to brunch again. <laughs> Summer weekends are for brunch, girl. Summer weekends are for brunch. Hanging out, having fun, day partying, the huge. Okay, so we did four braids. Honestly, I did the top a little tight. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it was a little uncomfortable, but. Um, mama didn't raise no what no <laughs> um okay so we're just gonna take off the hair ties i'm going to a restaurant in la called isabel i had been there for lunch uh, no for dinner a while back like a few years ago it's one of those like it's just like quintessentially like cute west hollywood spot um their sister restaurant is really like my favorite that's um it's laurel hardware so when i went for dinner i was kind of like eh, whatever i went for brunch recently y'all if you're in the la area and you want a cute brunch like a cute brunch with the girls or a date or something like that go to isabel because it is so cute it's like a indoor outdoor type vibe the food is bomb the wait staff is so nice like they are so nice like it's the type of people where they're like oh we want some customers we want customers we want company 
Um, and it's so pretty in there. And the food was good. The food was bomb. And they have um, mimosa flights too, okay? And with the mimosa flight, you can have a bunch of different, um, actually no, not it's not a flight. It's bottomless mimosas, but it's a flight of different flavors. So you can have orange, uh, passion fruit, like it's all different flavors you could choose from, like peach, watermelon. And it comes in like, it's for real like the fruit juice. It's not like, you know, some BS, like, yeah. So that's where I'm gonna go today. After experiencing that, I said, hold on. Let me go on back. <laughs> But look, is you see what I said about like it being looser curls? Okay, like a looser little beach wave in lock form. <laughs> and I'm just going through like this. So quick. It's just crazy how much faster this one is. Like, but it just depends on the look you're going for. Like, you know, there's going to be some times where I want the regular braid out look. But as for right now, I think this cornrow is my new low vibe. Okay. Ha! Ah, for the foreseeable future. Oh, it feels so good to take these out. <laughs> and then tonight, it's one of my friend's birthdays. And she wants to do the I fly, like the skydiving, but like inside thing. <laughs> so we're going to do that. Okay, we'll see how that goes. I, I'll post it on my story how I do. I'm going to look a hot mess. Um, If you don't have me on Instagram, what are you doing? Okay, it's extra ebony. Okay, we're going to take out this little twist that I did because remember I forgot. And look, oh, it just like curled up real cute. Actually, I should probably do that with my whole head one day because this curl is really cute. But look, it fits right in. Done. Do you see how quick that was? <laughs> like, from the braiding last night to the takedown. Like, this is so easy. It's not even funny. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. And bam. There it is, it's so cute. And you could keep it in the middle part, you could switch it over like this, you know. I'm not usually a side part girly for the most part unless I'm doing like a low bun or something, but bam, there you go. You've moisturized your hair, you know, you put it in a little style, like you can't go wrong. So here it is. Y'all, let me know if you guys do this style. Please let me know. I love those types of comments. Sometimes I'll get comments on my TikToks be like, oh my gosh, I saw you on Pinterest. Oh my gosh, like I did this style. Thanks so much. And I love those. Or if you have questions, I love to answer them. You know, I love community. I love this community that we've built. And we really have built it together. Like, shout out to y'all. So... Don't forget to leave a comment, like the video. I'm actually really close to 6K subscribers, so I would really love to get there. If you have not subscribed already, hit it. Hit the button, please. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.